Bringing a portion of the city back to life. That's the goal of Spokane's mayor and the city council. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. The city focusing now on Hilliard and the industrial power it once was, trying to bring all that back. Spokane has been awarded a first-of-a-kind grant to get the ball rolling. It's a story new tonight at 11. KXY Force John Hendricks live tonight from our sky deck with just how they're planning to rebuild businesses in Hilliard. John? Well, Nadine, there are a lot of moving parts to bring the industrial area back up to what it once was. Now the city and city council agree that this could be a much needed shot in the arm for the city's economy. When you look out over the Hilliard Industrial Park, you see progress, a new rail line and open space good for development. Really an opportunity to build on what's been there uh, for decades now, and that is living wage jobs, industrial area. The city of Spokane looking to keep building that up. They've been awarded the first Brownsfield grant in the state of Washington. The state of Washington is kind of encouraging local communities to look for these areas that are potential for economic development, but that may have some historic brownfield issues that need to be addressed. The $200,000 awarded will be used to look at and take care of Browns fields, areas of previous development that left hazardous substances and pollutants. This is a an opportunity for us to designate and really do the research in the areas that may need uh, cleanup in order for us to develop further into industrial jobs. Tonight, City Council approved the creation of a board that will oversee the Brownfield planning zone. The overall goal is to redevelop the land and make it shovel ready for businesses to come to the Lilac City. City officials believe this is one piece of the puzzle, making Spokane's economic engine that much stronger. As these pieces come together, it's an exciting time for, for Hilliard in the northeast part of our community and really focusing in this area for job development. Now, I asked the mayor today how the north-south freeway will play into all of this. He told me that it will likely just make the area that much more attractive to potential business. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.